Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at PlayStation View, another cord cutting option. We're gonna be going over pricing, what devices support it, and an overview of the app so we can see what it's all about. Let's get started. Here on the main page, it says, watch the best of live TV and on-demand shows on your favorite devices. No PlayStation console required. Plans start at $49.99 a month. All monthly plans include live streaming HD channels, powerful cloud DVR, five simultaneous streams, thousands of on-demand shows, 10 viewing profiles with personalized DVR. They have the access plan, $49.99 a month, and if I counted correctly, that's 49 channels. They have a core for $54.99 a month, and that gives you 78 channels. And then they have these two additional plans here, one for $64.99 a month, 80 channels, and the Ultra for $84.99 a month, and I'm guessing it's going to be over 80 channels and including HBO and Showtime. If you click on this link here, compare all plans, it will send you to this next page here and it will compare all four plans and the channels you'll get with them. And I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to take a look at this website and compare those four plans. Add-ons on standalone. Here we have a sports pack for $10 a month. Get Red Zone from NFL Network. You have HBO, $15 a month. HBO and Cinemax for $21.99 a month. Showtime, $10.99 a month. And you have a Spanish pack here for $4.99 a month. Here they state their number one customer satisfaction for live TV streaming video providers two consecutive years. Premium features at no cost. Powerful cloud DVR. Save thousands of hours of programming so you never miss an episode. Tag your favorite shows and upcoming airings. Will be automatically saved to the cloud DVR. Even better, watch your DVR programs at home or on the go. As easy as it sounds. Five simultaneous streams. Watch live streaming TV up to five devices at once. Harness the power of your favorite devices like Amazon Fire TV, Roku players, TVs, Apple TV, mobile, Chromecast, web, and more. Multi-view capabilities. On the PS4 console and Apple TV, boot up multi-view feature to watch three channels on the same screen. Catch all action during key sports seasons. Pretty cool. So it's only available on the PS4 console and Apple TV where you can watch three channels on the same screen. Pretty cool. Haven't seen this before on a live TV streaming service. Here we have 10 viewer profiles. Create up to 10 unique profiles for you and your family. Everyone can enjoy unique recommendations based on what they watch and save cloud DVR recordings to their personal profile. Also very cool. Something I haven't seen before. And here are your supported devices. You have PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3, Roku players, Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, and iPad. Pod Touch, Android TV, Fire TV, Google Chromecast, phones and tablets running Android 5.0 and up, and you can stream on your desktop or laptop. And they will give you five days so you guys can try it out. If you guys don't like it, you guys can always cancel it. Today we're going to use PlayStation View on the Amazon Fire TV Stick. Let's get right into the app. Here's going to show you some of the controls. It says, with your Fire TV remote or Alexa-enabled device, use voice commands to control playback and select channels. Jump to features faster. Hold the quick nav button to quickly access your favorite features. Access the view home screen at any time by pressing the quick nav button. All right. Let's click next. Quickly access more options, press and hold select to view options for programs and channels. Watch PlayStation View with Amazon Alexa. Control channels with your Fire TV remote or Alexa enabled device. You can say change channels with your voice, go to NBC, watch ESPN, playback commands like play, pause, fast forward two minutes, resume, rewind, restart this. Pretty cool. Some games are way better than others. We now show you live scores for games in progress. 
you can turn scores on and off in settings. So you can show scores or hide scores. Let's show scores. And today, we are going to be going through this app. This is going to be the home page here. You'll see you're watching, recently watched, continue watching in my DVR, trending live TV, new this week in my DVR, all, ch all programs in my DVR, favorite channels, sports, kids, and featured. All right, so let's go back. We're going to go to guide. And this is what the guide looks like. So instead of going up and down, we're going to go side to side. We're just going to click on, let's do MSNBC Live. I'm not going to play any live video because YouTube will hit me with copyright. So let's see. I'll go ahead and pause that. Right on the bottom, left-hand corner, you'll see Program Info if you click on that. It'll bring you to this page here where you can add to your DVR. Right next to that, you have closed captions right on the bottom left-hand corner. And then you have add to my DVR. So you can add it to your DVR. And then you can hit start over and return to live. And then on the right-hand corner, you you can click on that and it'll say more from MSNBC. And it will bring up more from NBC. Also right under that it'll say recommended by viewers. Probably stuff that everybody else is watching. Okay, let's go back. So now we're going to click on my DVR. I have no recordings right now. New this week. I just clicked on something random and all programs. And you have upcoming and expiring. Now let's look on on demand. Here we have new fall premieres. We have 911, The Good Doctor. If you guys watch any of these shows, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite show that you guys are watching right now. All right, we have Celebrate Hispanic American Heritage Month, 2019 Emmy nominees, recently added movies, Spanish, binge worthy TV, politics on demand. All right, so right next to On Demand, we're going to get the search channel where you can search for shows, movies, and channels. And our last tab is going to be settings. You have your profiles. You can have up to 10 different profiles per PlayStation View account. And each of them is going to have its own personalized settings. All right, you have subscription. You can modify subscription, redeem voucher on this page, and change your plan. Next tab is going to be closed captions. You have app settings. You can do an auto profile login. Show scores. Inactivity timeout. Streaming will be stopped after four hours of 
not being active, and you can start a tour whenever you like. Developer options. You have help, legal, exit, and sign out. This concludes this video. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you did not, hit that thumbs down. And if you like videos like these, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.